Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kalela Gunero, and today I am doing a light, fresh makeup look. That's what I've been doing lately, my stay-at-home <laughs> makeup look, and I know we don't have anywhere to go, but it's always nice to just get up and take your mind off of things. Just make yourself feel better by doing like your normal routine of getting up, getting your skincare routine done, doing a little bit of makeup. So I'm gonna show you guys how I have been doing makeup. I think with makeup looks, Skincare is super important. I've already exfoliated and I'm gonna add a little bit of moisturizer. This is from Ella Miss, and I'm just gonna apply this onto my lids. You probably hear all the time, skincare is important, you should focus on your skin, and it really is. You wear less makeup. I find myself preferring to use makeup products that show more of my skin texture. I am recovering from some hormonal breakouts, so Mm, it's not in the greatest place. So for my brows, I am going to be trying some newer products, mixing other products up, and I'm gonna use the Benefit brow products. I am now a part of their PR list, and they've sent me like some amazing, incredible goodies, and I have been enjoying the Cabrow. I haven't been using a brow pomade in a while. I was just so curious about it. So I've been using this, especially for the side that has brow that is missing, it's finally growing in, but it's taking forever. Packaging is so pretty. The brush that you can use is right in here. I find the brush a little bit too fat for my hairs. My hairs are very thin, um, so I'm gonna use a different brush so that way I get hair strokes, but I really like to use it when I'm filling in and adding some texture. What it looks like. I've been really, really enjoying this. And I'm just gonna add little strokes. Now you don't wanna lift your brow up while you're doing your brows. I used to do that in the past and it is so wrong because you're gonna create a shape that isn't natural to your face. So you wanna relax and sometimes you wanna frown so that way you get different angles. So you'll see me like look kind of down into the mirror and this is gonna give me an idea of where I need to position this product. So I'm just using this to fill in and just creating like a general shape. So I'm gonna take a combination of other products. So I'm gonna use my uh, Glossier Brow Flick and I'm also going to use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And if you've been with me a while, you know I didn't like this at first and then it was the only brow pencil I had and I learned how to use it and I love it. I'm just gonna use the brow flick. This was not sent to me by the way, I did buy this. And I'm just gonna create texture of like hair strokes and it creates that, that dark contrast so it looks like actual brow hairs. When you're doing a pomade, this is a great step to do. This is the best brow gel. Ever. I don't think I will ever use another brow gel. This is the one that I will always buy. I love it. It is also by Benefit. It is called the 24 hour brow setter. And I've been using this in a lot of my videos and just Instagram posts. It has two different sides on it. So for like longer hairs, maybe in the front and then for shorter. And I just take the longer side and I really brush up the front. Now, I used to brush my hairs up, but I felt like that that's not very natural to my brow shape. So I've been slanting it. So I've been doing that and it looks so much better. So this side, I don't really have a lot of brows. So it's important for me to mimic and make it look like I do. Okay, so when I'm doing more of a natural makeup, I want to have a product that covers a lot without feeling heavy and being heavy. So I will be going with cream makeup because it looks more natural. And it, even though it's a cream, you may think it's heavy, but it's not. So I'm gonna be using the Honest Beauty Everything Cream Foundation. I purchased this from Target. They do have other shades online. When I purchased it originally, I think on my Instagram, I said, I hope that's not like the only colors that they have because this was like the darkest shade, but it's not. They have more colors online. The brush I like to use with this foundation that I have found works really well is the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. It's a dual sided, so it has like one side that's great for buffing and then another side that can target and apply product. So I like to take the smaller side and then just go into the foundation. I just like to apply it in the center of my face because I feel like that's where I need the most coverage. And yeah, so I'm gonna start off with about that much and that color matches me really well. I was really surprised. And I'm just going to buff this in. 
If my goal is lightweight makeup, light fresh, I like to start at the center of my face because it kind of evens out the skin and it really tells me where else I need to correct or fix or, you know, modify. So I just like to buff that in and it's very lightweight. Initially, I felt like it was so heavy, but the more I wore it, the more that it blended into my skin, the more I felt like it was actually a good product to use for every day. I don't know about you, but I have a stash. I have not waxed <laughs> in forever. Just been allowing my skin to do its thing. I've been trying new retinols. I've been trying new vitamin C. I've been trying new face masks. Like I've been taking this time to try a lot of skincare and just really seeing what it does to my skin. So I'm just using whatever is on the brush and if I need extra coverage, I'll go in. But I feel like using a smaller brush gives me more control of how much product I'm putting on the skin. I'm just really buffing it. So the concealer that I am gonna use is from Wet n Wild and I really enjoy this concealer. This is my second time uh, buying it. I've used it multiple times. So where my dark circles happen, they happen there. And it's kind of sunken in here. So I'm gonna start off with that much concealer. And I'm just gonna use that same brush. I use the same brush for my base for a lot of things. I just feel like it mixes into the skin more flawlessly and seamlessly. I know a lot of you, like me, work from home. So, you know, if you're like doing meetings with people or you have to be, you know, possibly on like a video chat or something like that, you wanna look like not cakey, but you also wanna look polished and put together. So that's why I really like doing this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do contour. So I'm just gonna use like a little contour stick. This is Fenty Beauty. You can use any contour stick. You can actually go to the drugstore and buy the Maybelline Stick Foundation in Coconut if you are my shade um, or around my shade by Coconut. And it's pretty similar. This one's just a little more matte. So I'm just using the buffing side and you're just lightly buffing and blending it into the skin. And if this is a cream, so if you use creams, they're gonna blend a little more seamlessly. And now I'm just gonna go in with the eyes. Again, very, very lightweight. So I'm just gonna take a bronzer. I'm gonna use this one from Wet n Wild um, that I bought a few months back. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and this is gonna be what I use as my eyeshadow. So if you don't feel like doing eyeshadow, you can just do this. So I'm just gonna buff this into my eye. So I curled my lashes before I did any of my makeup because um, I didn't want the marks. I have not set my makeup yet. You don't have to, but I like to set the T-zone, especially on video because you'll be able to see it. Since I'm not going out, I can get away with using like a regular mascara like this, um, but feel free to use any mascara that you want. Just apply the primer. And the primer will go on depending on whatever primer you're using. Usually it's like white or like a pink color. And then I'll go on with the mascara. Now I have tried this primer with other mascaras. I feel like it works best with this Lancome uh, mascara. It was literally made for this mascara. I'm gonna set my makeup with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop setting powder from NYX. I've been really enjoying this one. And I'm only gonna set in the areas where I need it. So pretty much my T-zone, my nose. And now um, blush. I like to use a lot of blush for fresh, lightweight looks. So I'm gonna go in with the Sangria blush from Laura Mercier. And I like to mix some colors. So I'm using Sangria first as like that youthful flush. And then I'm gonna go in with Peach because I feel like Peach is just very flattering. 
and peach is gonna go. So I kind of mix both blushes together. And then highlighter, you can do a lit from within style highlighter. You can do a crazy highlighter. For these looks, I like to do more of a lit from within. So I like to use Laura Mercier's Powder Glow. This is in translucent. And this isn't like, whoa, highlighter. This is like, a, like again, like a lit from within style highlight. It's very pretty. So I'm almost done. I'm actually getting ready for a meeting. So <laughs> this is my look for like a web meeting. All right, so with these looks, you can get away with a bright lip or a pop of color, but I just want to kind of keep it very neutral. I don't want to do anything heavy. I want it to look like me. Like I feel like this is just a better polished up version of me um, and I'm not like as glammed up. I'm going to take my favorite uh, lipstick in Rock by Laura Mercier. For today, I'm going to use 1993, which is an Urban Decay lipstick that I really love. And I'm just going to pat that on. I still feel like I look like me, just more polished and video conference ready. Thanks so much for taking time to watch and I will see you guys in my next video.